Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn Earth signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out the person who hurt you. What's their future karma? To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 20th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 6.36 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Okay, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The person who has hurt them, what is their future karma? Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this person has hurt you before, obviously. We've got the Three of Swords here in reverse and the Strength. <clears throat> okay, I'm hearing heart uh, palpitation. So maybe health wise, it's gonna affect this person's health. Maybe something, to, something that has to do with their heart because as you can see, the Three of Swords is a heart right here. And the King of Cups, because of certain condition, their health condition, they may not be able to work out or be more active. The King of Cups is sitting down. And the King is definitely a little bit chubbier than the Knight. So they may put on a bit of weight. Not saying that if you, know, if you are chubby, that it's anything bad. Not saying that, okay? Just saying that this person is going to become inactive and um, I wouldn't say lazy but there's something going on or that there will be something going on where they're gonna feel demotivated to you see look at the ten of wands here in my first like this energy where they they easily want to give up they don't have the strength to um or will power, I would say. It's very challenging. The strength is in an upright position, though. So, but the Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords here, it's like they always try to continue doing what they have been doing, but they always find themselves feeling as, like, very demotiva demotivated, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. And the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow energy. Plus, Seven of Pentacles here. Pentacles indicates money, career, so their money or career will be moving a little bit slower than usual. On the chariot here is in reverse. For them to gain success, it's going to take a much longer time. Mm. It's, it feels like... It feels like the person who has hurt you knows... Because the justice here is in reverse, they know that this is their karma for hurting you in the past. Five of Wands is right here. We've got the world here. We've got the Nada Swords. Agitated. There's this energy I'm sensing. They always feel very agitated. Always feel angry. Why are things moving so slowly? Especially when it comes to their career or money situation and the world is right here but um i feel like their their karma this most likely is a bad karma it, it will end it will end because the world here indicates in a closing of an old chapter and then the new chapter begins it feels like they want it to end it's like a string of bad luck or things that are not moving uh as quickly as they would like to and they want it to end they want this phase to end it will end eventually i definitely see that but i guess this is part of their lessons lesson 
part of the lesson to be um, to be better, to be more patient, to take care. If you can see this angel is taking care of the lion here, to take care of people's heart hearts because it's a heart here, right? Sorry, my camera just cut off suddenly, but. Yeah, to be a little bit more sensitive, I was saying that I'm not sure if the camera caught that. But the high, uh, high priestess here is in reverse, the justice here is in reverse. You know, they, this person with the seven pentacles here, this person often wonders, is this, is this really my bad karma, whatever that's moving too slowly in my life that I would like it to move faster? Um, they often wonder that, right? Seven pentacles can indicate money or any sorts of investments that are moving very very slow like it's slow yeah it's waiting a lot of waiting um whatever they have been investing or will be investing in the future in the future they either have to wait for a very long time um to make that money or that justice here is in reverse they might get scammed okay justice in reverse because you know justice is something about legal something legal that is not in their favor okay and the high priestess here is in reverse can indicate something being revealed to them either something is going to be revealed to them that their investments are wrong or that something is going to reveal to them that whatever whatever they've been investing in it's they're going to get stuck okay i hope that makes sense to you but anyway i feel this very stuck energy also within myself right now um so a lot of things are not again the person who has hurt you it's not moving as fast as they would like to okay Look, Ten of Pentacles, here's the Mothers, Nine of Wands, the Mothers. The person who has hurt you could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. For all we know, these are like multiple people who have hurt you in the past, possibly getting similar karma, okay, from hurting you. And we've got the Three of Wands here. See, constantly waiting, right? It, it, also, the Knight of Wands here is in reverse. So this is supposed to be an active energy as well. But with it being reversed, it's slowing down. A lot of things are slowing down in their life. And Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. They're not getting the money that they want. It's almost like, you know, maybe they have some money. Maybe some, you know, King of Pentacles here. It could be them, but it could also be you because this is, you know, an Earth energy. So maybe this is what they want to achieve the most, which is the Ten of Pentacles here, but it's in one first. So I feel like the process of them wanting to achieve something in their life, which is like their ultimate goal, ultimate dream, it's going to slow, slow down. It's going to slow down until they finish off this karma, the world here, until it's done. It's going to be like a period of time, right? seven of pentacles maybe they have to wait mm, seven more years okay because usually pentacles one pentacle is one year usually that's what it means yeah so it's maybe in another seven years their karma will end okay they will pay off their karmic <laughs> debt and and things will move faster with another sorts after that okay I wouldn't say that they are forever cursed or anything because for hurting you, but I do see they have to pay back. Because the three of swords here, again, in reverse, that means they have to, it has to heal. They have to understand. They themselves will have to get hurt as well in order to understand, to empathize. Because the king of cups is also somebody who, whom empathizes, okay? One second, please. I shut the the microphone. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I was coughing. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, they may be treated unfairly here with a justice in love verse. You know, it definitely is what goes around comes around kind of thing because this is again hurt and pain energy. So this person has hurt you. So their karma is gonna be they they themselves being hurt, they themselves being treated unfairly with the justice here in verse. And for some of you there there could be multiple people who have hurt you, okay, not just one person. Most likely facing similar or experiencing similar karma or will be in the near future okay yeah and the two knights here the knight of wands in reverse and the knight of pentacles in an upright position so it teaches them to be loyal teaches them to be sincere um, because the knight of wands in reverse is somebody who is not stable somebody who is not loyal especially if you have been lied to or cheated on by this person okay but you see that's the thing you and this person one person in particular okay this person has hurt you but they learn some lessons because of that they may be experiencing their karma or will be experiencing their karma and then they become a better person. And unfortunately, they become a better person for someone else, for their next person. And, and sometimes that's how it works, right? Um, we, are, we are supposed to be in their lives to teach them a lesson so that they could be a better person for, or a better partner, a better friend for someone else in the future. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. All right, Virgo, Taurus, Capcom, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care. Bye.